Good afternoon, my name is Jam Demurjola from Abacus Data Mining Solutions. Today I would like to demonstrate how we handled incremental data loss using parallel processing ETL tool. For this demonstration, I am going to be consuming a stock code service that's available over the internet and that's got a REST based API. Let's start. I click on Add New Job. I say Stock Price as the job name. description the group for this demonstration purposes it doesn't really matter but I call it rest group the extract module I create a new extractor called stock price extractor that consumes this new um, rest based API and has got five different parameters the description address stock ticker start date and end date I am just going to be copying and pasting this rest based API URL address field. As a stock I'm going to pull Apple and I will start from 2011-12-01 to 2012-01-01. I click save. Essentially I'm done with pulling the data. Now I need to push the data. I pull my SQL bulk loader and set my data source localhost, change my database to test, and as a table name I would like to go with my stock table. And also I'm changing the truncate and load to false so that I can demonstrate you how we work with the incremental data loads. I click save, I'm pretty much done. I go back to over here, here's my new job, I need to schedule it. Every 10 a.m. Please run this job. I'm done. Now I can check out my controller. My job just flew through. I don't know if you had a chance to see it, but essentially my worker just executed almost the minutes I created the new job. How we can check it out? Well, if I run my query, so I start from my stack, you can see all the, um, the codes that I got for. Um, the, uh, for the last month of 2011. Now, this is cool, but what I'd like to do is I don't want to have um, static values, but instead I would like to make it parameterized. So, how do we do it? We essentially need to pull the data incrementally by playing with the start, that, uh, start dates and end dates of the query. So, first I need to create variables associated with start date and end dates. This one, I come to my repository and paste it over here. And then I click on the edit job. And instead of hard coding the start date and end date, I'm just going to say, hey, there's a variable called start date and take that value of that variable. And the same thing is true for the end date. Well, all this is cool, but essentially my start date and dates are still hard coded over here. I can, um, at runtime, I cannot change them. Um, I can do configuration, but they would still be hard coded. So, how we can do it um, dynamically, uh, changing them? There is a new module called uh, Update Variable Module, and here I'm going to change this module's description Update Start Date Variable. And what it does is it essentially runs a query on your database and based on that, uh, the output of that query, it assigns the value um, of the query to a variable. And it's the query has to be a specific type, it has to be a scalar. You can run a store procedure, you can run a, um, a function, but it has to be a scalar. You cannot get a um, table-based query. So, here's my query. Essentially, it pulls um, the max date all from my stock table and adds one day so that they don't um, coincide with each other. I click on save. I'm done with my stock date. Now I need to do the same thing 
for my uh, end date. Update and date variable. I say localhost. This is going to be test. And I have also a similar query. Instead of adding one day over here, I'm adding one week. And assign the value to end date. Pretty much I'm done at this point. I click on save and close this window. Let's go to our controller, restart the job. Moved from here to here. Let's check my stocks. Here, as you can see, it starts from 2012-01-09, goes up to 2012-01-13. And if I run the job one more time, it is going go um, to until 2012-01-20. If I run the job last time it will come up to today's date. Go up to 2012-0127. So in this demonstration we went through how we implement the uh, incremental data loads at uh, Pilot Processing ETL tool. If you have any questions or comments feel free to email me at cemd at abacusdms.com or you can write a comment at um, this video as well. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.